morning, good morning, good morning, guys. How y'all doing? Welcome back to another video this week. And yes, 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 I am back from my road trip last week. You know, uh, drove around all through Europe, man. Drove from, I think it was one of the one things that we really wanted to do so badly. And I'm glad. It was something that was on my bucket list, and I'm glad I finally got out of the way. So I took the McLaren now. I drove literally from here to Calais, across to from Dover to across Calais, and then through France, south of France, went to Italy, you know, Geneva, drove through down to the mountains, and then came back down to Monaco and Nice, and then drove back home again, and managed to do all that in four days. So it was a lot of driving, man. I was averaging uh, seven hours a day of driving. But honestly, it was something that was always on my bucket list, and something I always wanted to do, and it was a lot of fun. So I got back home two days ago, and as soon as we got back, since yesterday, be back to training and uh, back to now enjoying and enjoying bodybuilding, man. Now I'm back to slowly getting back to things in order and back to the bodybuilding lifestyle. So today, I'm gonna take around a vlog video and give you guys an info on what's going down where we are at right now. So I woke up this morning, it's Tuesday. I'm about to have breakfast, nice and simple. Breakfast is in. So currently, what I'm having is um, six eggs, which I'm gonna be frying in a minute. Six eggs, frying in um, coconut butter. Yep. And uh, I'm still having pretty much, I'm having toast, man. I'm having like four slices of toast, six eggs. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the first of my breakfast. And yeah, so I'm going to be there for the next few weeks. Obviously, we're still in a point period where we need to give my body a rest. So completely off everything, hanging that way and give my body a rest. It's been four weeks now. I want another four weeks on top of that to be completely cleared out and give my system a complete break and recovery. And health wise it's just something that's vital and something that I said I love. It has to be it has to be done. So that's where we are at right now. So I'm gonna get breakfast in, get it done, get my coffee in, and uh yeah, we're gonna start the day. So guys, welcome back channel and let's do us. Morning, morning, morning. morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Are you on the movie set today? Huh? Are you on the movie set today? Yes, we are on the movie set today. Official vlog day. Alright, come say good morning. Mama, come camera. Yeah. Yeah, rub my behind. It's you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes? Good morning to you too. How was your night? <laughs> How was your night? Mommy's about to do your food up there. How was your night? Good? Good sleep? Good? Ah, good boy. I gotta go get some more eggs. Oh. Why do you normally get these out? Okay. You read the box. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that works. Yeah. Oh, good friend, I'm good friend. No? One hand. I'm not even the one. I'm probably holding the camera and doing the same thing. You need to make sure that it's a base. That is a base. Well, it's um, too thin. Too late. Oh boy. You thought I don't do this often enough. <laughs> I didn't realize I did nothing enough. I've done it before. Oh, I, just, I, just, I just I just, do it my own way. Oh, do you know? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yeah, I need another few more of these. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, and I'm cracking eggs with one hand. I need my other hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Having toast now, but that does change. This is probably my last week of having toast. <coughs> From next week, I'll go back to oats. I'm gonna enjoy the last bit of enjoyment that is left before things, before I completely switch back to oats and uh, yeah, oats and eggs for breakfast. But one week, one week of uh, having slices of toast feels nice. Yes, it does. Oh dear. Okay. 
for a second. It it's not like I'm not going to be allowed to have toast. It's just in terms of carb source, oats are a lot better in terms of maximizing muscle growth than, than bread. So, my, mainly as long as I can finish all my oats, I'm going to have toast on top of that. But normally the oats portion is so big that once you finish eating all that, the last thing you want is add more toast to it, man. Because I think we go all the way to what? 180 grams of oats? Or 150? 150. 150 grams of oats. That's a lot of oats. When you eat all that, you definitely, uh, you definitely won't be so inclined to throw some toast on top of it. Oh boy. This here is chicken fries that go in, in the deep fryer. What's that deep fryer? Um, air fryer. <coughs> It's for your favorite boy <laughs> that right now is ducking out from breakfast, yeah, as he usually do. Ducking out on mm -hmm. the sofa, sleeping. As it should be here. He he'll can, come and check. He'll come and check if breakfast is done, but he won't eat it yes. until he's doing ready. He won't eat it <laughs> until, <that. laughs> until like when he feels like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah, he has to come here and check and make sure that the food is actually there and ready for him, bro. Why are you sitting here? You're not eating breakfast once again. Hmm? You're not eating breakfast. Why are you always why you always gotta play the same routine, man? Breakfast? No? You gonna have some breakfast? No? We got nice chicken. Come on. Let's have breakfast. <coughs> Gym yesterday was a back food session since after a week of training. And yeah, I had a back session yesterday and uh, also had a look at our progress. And you know, it's nice to always have that break and give your body a break. And yesterday when just training, it felt good after having some time off because even though like, you know, your strength is not fully what it used to be, but at the same time, try to push as hard as I can anyway. But it's almost like connection with the muscles it just feels fresh again. It feels like you're not burnt out. You feel like you're not sore. You feel like you're not as worn out. So. That really helped yesterday, you know, you just had a better connection with all the muscle groups in your back, especially. And it just felt, it felt new. It felt like you're training for the first time. You could feel everything a lot better for the first time. So I did that. I uh, had a look at progress. So went through a few of the poses, see where we are at. And yes, man, I'm happy for the progress we are in now. Four weeks post-show and another four weeks to go before we start the off-season. So yeah, the progressing is uh, it's cool. I like it. I like it. Today we're going to be back in the gym with training legs. So quads and hamstrings will be in today and uh, glutes as well. So yeah, that'll be this afternoon. But I'm liking where this is at right now. Liking the, the place we're at. My toast is done. Yeah. Yes. Guys, right, so I'm just driving out today. I'm heading down to South End. Uh, I got a physiotherapy session with Michelle. And yes, right now, you know, when you're training at this state, especially having a long time off the gym and everything else, the pain that comes post-workout, that don'ts, that feeling of it is so different. You know, it's so much more painful and your recovery is so much more slower. And you know, my back has been so sore since Monday. My legs joined them from yesterday. And now I'm just like, man, okay, I definitely need a physio, man. I definitely need her to do a thing and help me feel a little bit, uh, a little bit, you know, not so stiff and painful, you know right now so I'm just heading down to give me a massage today and so I'll be break down those notches notches in the muscle and then yeah then get back home and make sure that you know we go uh, make sure I get ready for a um, flight to Detroit this weekend which is another one which I'm so look, I'm really looking forward to man because it's the first time in a long time I feel like I'm flying out for a show and all I'm going to do there is just go enjoy myself meet the fans watch a show and there is no obligation other than that, you know, and it's been a long time. It feels like it's really been a long time since I actually had the opportunity to do that. Just have a relaxing flight. Don't have to worry about, you know, having all my meals with me and everything else like that. And, you know, carrying the specific diet food and just go out, you know, spend some time, see the boys and then watch a show and, you know, meet friends and everything else. So it's, uh, that is definitely, um, yeah, it's definitely nice, man. It's a nice thinking and it sort of brings, makes me feel very like just a light hearted to travel after all the intense one we've had in the last six months it makes it this one feels just so much more relaxed and enjoyable so i'm kind of looking forward to that so yeah it's probably gonna it's gonna be a really good weekend 
and you know especially now by the time you know the weather is changing now slowly becoming I'm looking forward to summer man so especially here in the UK where it's so depressing and so dull yeah man I'm looking forward to having more sunshine and a much more pleasant longer days as well so coming back from there we know that we're going to end up having a better summer time at that point and even then you know, as soon as we get back we're flying out for a holiday and vacation and stuff and having a few days away without just completely de-stressing and just chilling out you know me and the wife it's something I'm really looking forward to man it's something that I feel like has been needed for a long time both of us not working, both of us not doing anything, both of us just having time off for ourselves. And sometimes we feel like we haven't done it in a long time, so this I'm really looking forward to this next week as well. But yeah, I'm going to head down now and go about an hour's drive to get down to Michelle's and then hopefully she won't cause me too much pain. Hopefully. Well, I'm so sore right now, I feel like if she put any hands on me, I'll be screaming. So yeah, hopefully that ain't going to be too bad for today. Well, yeah, I'm going to get up and we're going to do that. Just finished off a uh, massage with Michelle, and yes, man, that was painful. That was so as hell. That was painful, but <laughs> it really helped, man. She helped get the nuts out. And now I'm just gonna head off home. And uh, yes, got training today, so I gotta get home, get ready, and go hit the gym. But that was really good, man. That was really good. Needed, really needed that. Especially the past few days of training has been uh, so as hell. So definitely, that will help a lot. So I'm going to go home, get my next meal in, and uh, carry on the rest of the day. Let's get it going. Yeah, let's get my second meal of the way of the day in. And we got sweet potatoes and steak. So, 200 mm. grams of steak. 200 grams of steak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sweet potatoes. How much did you put this day? 300. Oh no, actually I did more than that actually. Did you make? Yes, I did 400 grams of sweet potato yesterday. Yeah, I didn't say. Yes. Normally, when we finally get to the peak off season, I'm doing 500 grams of sweet potatoes. But I'm slowly working your way up that. And that's a tip for guys that are trying to obviously struggle to eat much food. They try to get it all at once in the first week or so of them saying they want to bulk up. You have to work your, you got to work your appetite to it. So first, starting small. This one portion each week, go up bit by bit, and that's how you sort of like your body adapts to it, and you, you kind of tend to get learn the ability to put in more food. If you just push lots of food in your plates and try to get it down here, you won't make it much that long. So, first start off with the small portions, and each week raise the portions of every meal it, by five hundred grams or anything like that. But slowly raise the portion each week to the point where your body can handle it. So that's a quick tip on how to um, push in more calories. So. Yeah, that's what we do with this one here. Potatoes in, microwave, yes please. And yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so we're just about to head off to the gym. Uh, go arm um, leg session today, and first and foremost, I'm gonna get my intro workout, make stuff with my blood chat. So, intro workout artery, hostile intro artery, best intro workout supplement you can have out there. And obviously, I'm combining it with a new blood chat flavor, pineapple flavor right there. Samson Signature Series. So that's going to be my intro work. I'm going to mix in the Mark Jug. And obviously, way I said for post workouts, way I said I saw each one, way protein for when I'm done. But since we're doing a leg setting today, getting that, getting that buzz out there, man. Get that, that pump and that pre workout out there. So, high stem pre workout. So we're using that for a leg session today. And that, that's going to really give you that motivation to kind of really push in and go deep for the workout today. So I'm going to be using these for my supplements. Guys, remember, all the supplements that we use, hostile supplements here, it's available on the hostile website. Use code Samson10 and pick up yours. So I'm going to get this all mixed up and uh, we're going to go hit the gym. Yes. Pre-workout meal. Normally we used to have rice, but now being in that full carb loading phase, we got pasta in. And we got 300 grams of pasta, 
180 gram of lean mince. Yeah. Put 190 for you. No, I put none of it. I'm pushing it now. Jeez. I'm pushing it now. <laughs> time to make them gains, man. Yes, yes, yes. Even before the off season starts, can I start uh, getting a head start on um, big eating gains? Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. But well, yeah, this is where we're at. We got the new one. We're gonna head off on the road, and we gotta work out it, man. Get that training session going. I'm going to rain. Elevate, elevate, yeah. The hate when you elevate, elevate, elevate. 
From the gym, back from the gym, and uh, to some post gym meal. So, Mel, obviously, you know, cooking skills, second none. And now, me not being on a diet, I can eat good food. So, she prepared, what she does is, I always call it the bodybuilding paella. And she prepared this right here. She cooked this. So, that's my post workout meal. Look at that. Is it paella? How do you say it's paella? Paella. 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 Because that's Chinese. Paella. Pronounced in Spanish. Mm hmm. Paella. At the same time, we got shitloads of hostile delivery clothing that got delivered while we came home. Yes. Uh, loads of nice hostile hoodies. Mm -hmm. And I got one. Well, that's the thing I'm hanging up there. But check it out. Yep. So this just came in. Yeah, they're yeah, looking sick. More. There's a lot more there as well. I'm going to have to go through these. Oh, I like this color. Look at that. That's a baby blue. Yeah. A baby blue color. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I'm trying to open this in one hand. Oh, I see the this tan, tan, tan mm. brown there yeah, as well. Yeah, tan brown, the purple. Man, they got some colorful, colorful stuff here. And I can open this one. Huh? Ah. But anyway, that's a black baby blue one right there. But anyway, I'm about to get my meal in and uh, post workout shake as well. The meal, and I eat that and chill, and then have an evening of rest of relaxing. And then I go after this, I go one more meal before bed. So, yeah, that's where we were at with that. So, yeah, we're gonna food it.